this makeup look today. So it's just like a cow print little moment with some stars. If you guys want to see how I did this look, definitely keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join the fam. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So I was watching an Instagram TV video, this girl doing her makeup, and she was using a brush, and I've always been skeptical of using brushes for my foundation because most of the time it turns out like streaky or just not as nice as a beauty blender blends it out. I tried it yesterday and I really liked how it turned out, so I think it's like the type of brush that you use really helps a lot and I have this kabuki brush I don't know where I got it it just appeared randomly but we're gonna try it out again and I've been tanning so my neck doesn't match the same with my face I'm using a darker foundation on my face so it can match my neck and I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Sand. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just like, try to actually brush it, kind of just like pat it like you would as with a beauty blender. And I found also that I don't need as much product with the brush because I know that the Beauty Blender absorbs a lot of the product. And with the brush, I put in two pumps yesterday and I used my brush and I like didn't need half of it. So that's good. Save more product with using with using the brush. Okay, also I saw something on Instagram, where else? And it was this guy showing you how to like correctly highlight. And he did like one side of the face as like a usual Instagram, like you know, the triangle under your eye. And then he did the other side with just highlighting up here, the side of your nose, and then under your cheekbone. And it gave him more of like a lifted look, and I thought it was insane. And so, I'm gonna try it out today, because why not? So we like, one up here. concealer from e.l.f. Um, I believe it's like six bucks at Target, which is amazing. I am obsessed, obsessed with e.l.f. I actually used to work for them um, and this store that they had in LA at the mall and I love the products. It's cheap and it's also really good and it's vegan and cruelty free, like a bomb product, like a bomb, a bomb company. So I'm going to contour with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. And again, I'm just going to go back with my Kabuki brush and blend it out.
honestly don't think I'm going back to using a beauty blender to blend my liquid products anymore because she's doing she's doing wonders she's working wonders so now i'm going to bake i'm going to be using the makeup revolution banana powder this stuff has lasted me ages bought this stuff like around eight months ago and i still have more than half the bottle left so i definitely recommend any for anyone who likes to use loose powder from grab it on my sponge like so and just bake under the eyes not necessarily bake but just set everything that we highlighted <laughs> Tinted Brow Pomade. This is the shade Espresso. Looks like this. I'm gonna grab a angled brush like this one. I do have the ends of my eyebrows buffed off just because I noticed that some of my regular eyebrows like go down to here and they just make my eyes look like really droopy and like that's, that's not what we're going for, sis. That's not what we're going for. So I saw online that people are like shaving the ends of their eyebrows off and it gives them more of like a lifted like snatched look so if you want to look like that I definitely recommend it I and I always have my eyebrows on wherever I go unless I genuinely don't care if I'm going to like the store for like 10 15 minutes but I usually have my eyebrows on if I go out so it doesn't really matter to me personally but to each their own I'm just gonna go in and fill them in and create the end of my brow. And then I just do little brow hairs. Are the finished brows. Do we like? Do we like? Obviously, they're sisters, not twins, because I don't think I'll ever get them to look the same. Okay, so when I did this look yesterday, I used this. I used this Hydro Liner by Suva Beauty. It's water activated. Comes with a tiny little brush like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Tiny little brush. And I did the winged liner with this tiny brush. And the biggest mistake of my life, it took me like 10 years. Don't recommend it. Definitely recommend using like a flat brush instead. So I'm gonna try that out today and see if that works a little better. We'll see. So I just grabbed like a face, a facial spray. I use the Mario Badesco with aloe, chamomile, and lavender just to kind of just get it activated. And kind of, you can't even see that, but it's okay. <laughs> but it just gets a little watery. So I'm grabbing a flat brush and we're gonna try this out, see how that works, rather than using a tiny little brush. Keep your fingers crossed. So this is one eye and this worked 
it's so much better than the tiny brush I used. I am shook. So I just did like the cat eye that you would usually with like a regular eyeliner, just obviously all over my eyelid. And I actually, so what I did is so you can see my crease right here. I go above my crease just so that you can actually see the liner and to make it seem like I have more eyelid space. I'm just gonna wait to let it dry and I'll be right back. Do like whatever shapes you want, wherever you want. Um, remember that if you have hooded eyes like myself, um, try not to do the cow print designs where your eye creases, just so it's not, you know, so it doesn't like transfer onto the other parts of your eyelid. So I did yesterday and it was a whole mess, so now I know. <laughs> Luminizing mascara just all over my eyelashes, and I didn't apply any falsies. And there you have it, guys. This is the completed look. I know this look may not be for everyone, but it's always fun to kind of go out of your comfort zone and do something that you normally wouldn't do, especially during quarantine. I feel like you could get in like a rut with like not wanting to do your makeup or just doing a simple everyday makeup look and I don't know for me it's like kind of like makeup therapy so whenever I do my makeup it relaxes me and I feel like my creative juices start to flow and I don't know it definitely is something fun to pass the time with during all this self-isolation and quarantine stuff so definitely recommend it for anyone who likes to do makeup and wants to kind of go out of their comfort zone and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join the fam. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying at home, and are all healthy and having a wonderful day. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.